All right. Um, how's it going, everybody? Um, I wanted to make this video because it didn't look like there was one on this topic on uh, YouTube just yet. So um, I wanted to make this video because I am going to be undergoing a rapid desensitization for my seasonal allergies coming up on Friday. And uh, I wanted to just sort of talk about what that really is and what that means and sort of make a little digest of my experience doing this. So um, I've had seasonal allergies my entire life, or I've heard them referred to as hay fever. Sometimes I'll go outside and my nose will be all stuffy or, you know, I'll just have a miserable day because of my reaction to pollen or allergens in the air. I went to an allergist down here and they offered this option to go on allergy shots, which I've done in the past and they work really well. But they offer an option to do something called a rapid desensitization, which basically means you get your first I don't want to miss I don't want to mix this up. Your first bulk of shots, of allergy shots in one day. Um, I believe it was the first three months, but I could be wrong about that. Um, but it's basically a bulk of allergy shots in a four-hour period. And in order to do that, you basically have to prepare a few days in advance by taking quite a few drugs. Now, when I say quite a few drugs, um, I have sort of just out of camera view here four different prescription medications. Now, I've never had to take more than one prescription medication at a time, let alone four. Um, so, it's essentially one of every allergy medication known to man. So essentially I'm going to be taking four times what four times the allergy protection medication for the next two days uh, that one would normally take. And then Friday morning I'm going to basically be getting shots for everything I'm allergic to. And I now have to carry an EpiPen as well. Now, most of my friends that I've described this to say, you're crazy. Why are you doing that? Um, but according to the doctor who I'm doing this with, they say that uh, most of the patients, just about all of them actually say they feel better within a month. And it relies very heavily on going every week for your allergy shots to, once the rapid was done to keep the process going and keep the process running smoothly. So that's my plan. I've taken the rest of the week off of work because I don't know how taking four prescription medications at the same time. I don't know how that's going to affect me. I don't know if I'm going to be really drowsy or I don't know if I'm going to be fine. Uh, I feel fine right now. My uh, allergies are a little bit active. I feel a little bit of congestion, but uh, one of the medications I'm taking is actually one of the ones I take regularly for uh, allergies. So I have a feeling that will clear up, which will be nice. Um, but uh, it'll be interesting to see what happens over the next few days. So that's why I decided to sort of record my experiences here and uh, talk about how this whole process goes. So in a nutshell, uh, it's two days of pre-therapy or like, you know, two days of drug prep where I'm basically going to be sitting here at this table and taking four prescription medications. Then Friday morning at 8 a.m. I go into the office and they pump me full of what I'm allergic to. Then I start going for weekly allergy shots. Of all the doctors I've gone to see, I would say the allergist is probably the one I'm the most looking forward to seeing because when I did the allergy shots before I moved down here up in New Jersey, they were extremely effective. They worked really well and I found that it improved my experience because I wasn't having, I wasn't getting congested. I wasn't, uh, you know, I wasn't suffering randomly when other people were totally fine. Or when the seasons changed, I wasn't miserable for the entire time. So I'm, uh, I'm looking forward to it. So I'm going to stop the camera. I'm going to take these medications, and then I will uh, talk about how I am feeling. Okay, so I've, I've just taken my four prescription medications. The one thing I should probably mention is that um, due to certain circumstances beyond my control, all of my meds are actually liquid. So if I'm making a strange face, it's because the combination of two of them do not have particularly pleasant tastes. So I will be having a very quick rendezvous with a bottle of Listerine in a few seconds. But uh, 
of right now, I'm going to go head back to the couch with a glass of water and watch some TV. Um, so. All right, so it's the end of the first day, and uh, just figured I'd share uh, good news here. Really didn't notice any big uh, effects or uh, you know side effects from being on so many medications. I did nap a little bit earlier, but uh, I don't know if it was necessarily related to the medication. But I pretty much spent most of the day just hanging out on the couch watching uh, The Walking Dead. So that was uh, that was cool. Up to season two, um, definitely having fun binge watching that. That's for sure. Um, so um, I just took my nightly dose of one of the drugs here. It's uh, twice daily, but everything else is once daily. So tomorrow morning I'll. Uh, do the smorgasbord of drugs in the morning and that'll be fun start to day two but uh yeah basically day one was uh pretty uneventful so hopefully day two will be just as uneventful and uh hopefully i'll be able to get some stuff done around the house so good night and i will see you after this transition good morning it's day two of the uh desensitization prep and uh so far, no issues to report. I uh, just finished taking my morning uh, medication bit. And, um, yeah, those of you who can take pills, I, I'm envious because your version of this is basically, you know, but I can't do that. So uh, mine's a little more annoying because it's liquid, but, you know, hey. Um, so far, feeling fine. Um, you know, granted you may have a different reaction to the significance of the medication. So, you know, if you are considering doing this, um, desensitization thing, I would still recommend taking the time off of work if you can, just to be safe in case you get really drowsy because one of the side effects listed in at least two of the medications were that it may cause drowsiness and so forth. Um, it also mentioned that alcohol can increase the side effects of at least one of the medications. So I went out with a few friends last night, didn't drink. Uh, we usually go out to this pub on Wednesday nights and uh, usually like to have a Guinness or two. I uh, opted not to have the Guinness last night just in case. I didn't want to have a find any side effects. But, uh, you know, that's just something to keep in mind also. Um yeah, so far feeling good. A uh, little bit of sniffles this morning, but uh, just with the significant amount of medication in my bloodstream, I have a feeling that will go away. It did yesterday, I actually. Uh, remember yesterday morning in the video, had a little bit of congestion, but uh, the rest of the day I felt just fine when it comes to the allergy end of things. So, so far the two days of, uh, you know, drugging your, myself up, not a big deal. So far, no no problem. Um, probably going to watch a little more TV today and then get some errands done later on and just have a chill day. But, uh, you know, still keeping it relaxed. But definitely don't feel like it's wiping me out, so to speak. I, I had a feeling I was going to be really drowsy from all the medication and stuff. But uh, so far, so far so good. So I will speak to you in a little while. Alright, good morning everybody. Sorry for the vertical video here, but uh, I'm in the car and I'm heading on my way to the rapid appointment for the desensitization today. It is uh, about 7.22 in the morning and uh, of course being that uh, going for something medical this morning, I opted not to have any coffee this morning just so my blood pressure is not raised or anything like that because caffeine will do that for me. So naturally, this is about as chipper as I'm going to be for the next few hours, I suppose. Um, but, um, yeah, I took all the meds this morning, and I'm ready to do this. So I've got my EpiPen with me, I've got my computer with me, and I'll probably just be sitting watching Netflix or something during the uh, whole thing. But I'll shoot some video, and uh, I will let you know how it's going. So... Wish me luck. All right, hey, I'm here in the doctor's office, and I've already had 
uh, I think it's four sets of shots already, and um, did this nebulizer thing where I had to breathe through this tube and inhale this mist to, I guess, keep my airways open. Um, and uh, the person who introduced all the you know, steps and everything, she called it a neb treatment, but I heard nail treatment, so I'm going to be referring to it as the nail treatment. She doesn't think it's that funny, but that's okay. Um, so I did the nail treatment and uh, um, did a thing where I have to blow this little ball up so it shows how much I'm capable of breathing. I guess it's the way they measure if I'm having difficulty breathing or anything, but so far I'm feeling fine. Um, we just, uh, we're doing 18 injections this morning. And I've just done, is it bad that I'm not counting? Or maybe it's just the fact that I'm not awake. But I've done like, uh, I want to say four injections so far. So we're uh, moving along nicely. And uh, I have about 10 minutes in between each injection. So, yeah, so far it's uneventful. Um, so hey, when you come and do this, um, you're going to have to bring your EpiPen because it's going to be on your prescription when you get all the stuff set up to to do this. So you have to make sure you bring that with you and make sure you talk to when you when you're having your your nurse or whoever's doing your your rapid talk to them about how the EpiPen works because I just learned something really interesting. You in like the, the training and the guides for the EpiPen, it says you have to call nine one one right afterwards because you will need additional medication after you take that EpiPen. You'll need further medical attention, so make sure people around you know about your allergies and your illness, uh, people around you know about what you're allergic to, and are familiar with the whole EpiPen thing so they can administer it for you if you can't. But then make sure that if you're alone or after you get the EpiPen administered, you call 911 right away and just say, hey, I just used an EpiPen on myself, I need help or I need you to come and pick me up or you know whatever just make sure you do that because that will make sure that uh, you are spared and make sure you are uh, gonna survive this whole thing so EpiPens are very very good also when you get the EpiPen it comes with a little trainer which has no medication in it but you can use that to practice on yourself and have people practice on you just so that way if that moment comes there's no hesitation you know, people aren't going to be like reading the side of it and going, okay, so first take blue cap off, okay, that, you know, there's not going to be any confusion there. People will know exactly what uh, what to do in order to keep you safe. Okay, so when, when you come for your initial testing, the nurse or the person who's doing your testing is going to be filling out a sheet that probably looks something like this with a bunch of things written on it and they're going to be filling in numbers and so forth. Ask to get a copy of that, because that actually will tell you what you're specifically allergic to. I don't know what half of these things are, but uh, penicillium. I'm apparently allergic to penicillin. I, looking at this, it's a good idea, because now it gives you talking points to get a better idea with your doctor and medical professional about what, what you're actually allergic to. But I know I'm allergic to a whole bunch of ragweed, dust mites, apparently. But uh, either way, it's good to know these things. So definitely get a copy of this and keep that with all your, you know, medical stuff at home. All right, just did shots 15 and 16, uh, progressing along nicely. Uh, been here a little over two hours, and uh, as far as how I'm feeling, feeling good. Um, I uh, noticed my throat's a little bit on the dry side. Had a little bit of uh, my eyes were a little bit teary, but that that came and went. Um, they did give me a little bit of Zyrtec to take, uh, which is my go-to allergy medication. So um, I have a feeling all the drugs I've had the last couple days are definitely, uh, you know, doing their thing now. Um, and, uh, yeah, so, I mean, if you're thinking about doing it, you know, so far, feeling good. And I'll certainly keep you updated if anything changes. I've got my EpiPen at the ready if I need it, but um, definitely feeling... Uh, feeling good. The one thing I can tell you as well is they, they're they very closely monitoring me during the process. Walking by, poking their head in, and uh, they've got a timer set for every 15 minutes. They're coming through and giving me the next shot, and they're definitely keeping a, they're not forgetting about me, that's for sure. And if anything happens, I know I can always just, you know, shout something out, and they keep the door open as well just to make sure they can hear me 
talking or you know see me so you know they uh, they're very they're keeping a close eye on me to make sure everything goes smoothly so um, so far I recommend it you know I think it's it's a great way to get started with the treatment especially if you live in an area with a lot of allergens like I'm, I'm in you know Austin Texas so during the winter months there's really really high concentration of cedar in the air and I'm very allergic to cedar so I was miserable last year and hopefully this upcoming year will be better because I'm getting this treatment now alright hi everybody it's actually been a couple of months since uh, my last video here it's actually uh, November 29th the rapid desensitization was actually done back in uh, September so it's been a few months now and I've been going for my allergy shots every week and I just wanted to kind of post a sort of follow-up to to round out this video here so um, overall would I recommend it absolutely hundred percent it was great um, the the care has been excellent um, right after I finished the rapid I had to take the um, really bad tasting medications I had to take them the day before the shots the first two shots afterwards just to make sure that there was no issues and didn't have any problems at all and now uh, I just take my Zyrtec my uh, regular um, allergy medication I take that the day I go for a shot and then I have to bring my EpiPen with me when I go for the shot they will not give me the shot unless I have the EpiPen with me because they say that typically on the day of a shot that's when you may be more likely to have an allergy attack um, because you have an increased amount of the allergens in your system so um, my prescription came with two so I have one that kind of is loose and I carry that around with me on the day of the shots and then I have another one that lives in one of my bags that's kind of with me when I go to work so I pretty much will always have an EpiPen within close proximity but that's going to be important you want to make sure that when you do the the rapid descents that you always will have an EpiPen at the ready just in case and in the previous video, I mentioned using the trainer, which actually looks like this. And it actually says trainer across the front. I mentioned using the trainer here, which looks different enough from the real thing. But using the trainer, you can practice on yourself. So you pull the, the uh, blue plug out, and then you take this and jab it into your you know, thigh and whatnot. Um, that's important to do and also just be sure to tell your close friends about it people that you're in close proximity with um, on a day-to-day -day basis so people that sit around me at work and whatnot they know that where I keep my EpiPen so in case I you know go into an anaphylactic shock they'll be able to administer that for me um, and of course contact your you know contact 911 before after that happens to get uh, you know whatever additional medical attention you may need um, so it's uh, it's been great. So um, I highly recommend doing the uh, rapid desensitization. Uh, definitely take the time off of work to prepare for it because I was taking quite a bit of prescription medication. I didn't know how I was going to react. So I, um, you know, I'm glad I did that. I I can tell you now that when I do get my my the day of my shots, I typically am a little bit more drowsy because I can tell that the the Zyrtec is working and it's really you know preventing a lot of my, my symptoms, but I have not had a day where my symptoms have been unbearable. I've not had a day where I was miserable. Um, any All of that is completely gone. What I can say about the rapid desensitization is that it's, it is exactly as the name implies. It is a desensitization. So you're not curing your allergies. You're not sort of, you're not eliminating your, your sensitivity to the things in the air you are desensitizing yourself so you are lowering your sensitivity so I still will get stuffy my nose will get stuffy from time to time my eyes will water a little bit but it's nowhere near what it used to be and taking the Zyrtec will clear that right up so it really does make a big difference and what I like about the the hour the allergist office down here they don't have you don't schedule your time for your shot you just show up uh, and they generally get you in and out, you know, within about half an hour because you do have to wait after you get the shot. You wait about half an hour to make sure that you don't have a reaction, and then uh, you know, then you can go about your day. But uh, I, I've got it worked into my schedule, so I'm off on Thursdays. I just stop into the office at some point on a Thursday, you know, get my shot, and I'm out of there. And uh, I am, I think I've got three more, three or four more shots in the yellow bottles. Where there's three grades of of allergy serum that they inject me with and the rapid goes essentially goes through most of the first one or if not all the first one which is a green bottle now I'm in the yellow bottle then the red bottles start 
uh, I think maybe right around the end of the year, I go to the red bottles, and then once I'm on the red bottles for a number of in, uh, number of injections, I go to maintenance, and maintenance I think I go in once a month or something. But once you go on maintenance, you go less frequently, and you know it's you're, you're just your immunity's been built up. But uh, it's a really great experience, and I definitely recommend it. If you're uneasy about anything, consult with your doctor, talk with your doctor by all means. But I hope this video helped. Uh, you know, answer any questions you might have had or, or at least, uh, you know, alleviate any concerns you might have about what the experience is like. It's definitely not as intense as I thought it would be, but, uh, you know, like I said before, if you have the option to take, you know, pre-planned sick time off of work, do it just to relax the couple days before, just in case you do have a reaction to the medication or to the, the shots and everything. Um, you know, familiarize yourself with your EpiPens and your EpiPen trainer and everything. And you'll be just fine. So enjoy. Let me know if you have any questions. I'll do my best to answer them. And uh, thanks very much for watching.